Hello, today I am going to take a look at the Turning G 9X uh, transmitter and uh, receiver kit. It's uh, supplied by Hobby King. On uh, the box, you will not see uh, too much details about. Actually, there are no details about this system. Only that uh, it uh, should be appropriate for glide glider probably airplane and helicopter systems but uh, this actually can be used in uh, a lot of uh, configurations and uh, it has uh, nine channels and it works on uh, 2.4 uh, jigs uh, band so what uh, it's interesting about this that uh, you should not uh, operate it without reading the manual so Let's take it out of the box. All right, so this is the transmitter. You probably know this model from uh, Hobby King. It has a lot of switches and adjustable knobs it have it has also multiple position switches on the back you have the module which can be replaced with another and here we have the battery compartment I'm gonna take the cap off where you have uh, this adapter for double uh, A batteries. Uh, this one can be replaced with the uh, lithium battery. You can take this out and use a LiPo battery instead of uh, conventional batteries. And here we also have the receiver. And this. an 8 uh, channel receiver okay, I'm gonna put this apart I'm going to install the batteries now I'm going to use uh, rechargeable batteries The remote uses uh, eight double A batteries. The adapter is uh, very stiff, making uh, this process a bit tedious. And now it all should go in and we must put the cap back okay now back to the remote to start this uh, remote, if uh, the buttons are not in the correct position, I'm gonna mess with them a bit. If I want to start it, I'm gonna get an error which says switch error. So all the knobs must be in the forward position like this. this like this like this so when I turn this on now it 
will not give an error it will start normally okay so i'll move on to the receiver i'm going to do a small setup with it to test it if it works i'm hoping that it's already been with the remote i'm going to use the lipo battery This one has just arrived also, so I'm going to test it first. You can see this uh, tester on my YouTube channel. Very simple but very useful and it's pretty accurate. So it shows that we are dealing with a 3 cell battery and we have 390, 389 and 390 okay so the battery has enough current the voltage is a bit high for this battery it should be about 385 for storage as I just uh, received it so to make a initial setup to see if it works we will need a power supply for this and uh, the receiver works between 4 and uh, 5 volts to 6 and 5 volts so I'm going to use uh, this kind of uh, universal battery adapter circuit, a switching battery emulator. Uh, this time I'm going to connect to the battery and then to this to power it up. And also to have feedback from the receiver I'm going to use a small servo to see if uh, action from the remote is uh, received on uh, here and uh, transmit it to the servo. So I'm going to do a small install. I'm going also to show you this module closer. It's an universal battery replacement module. It uh, takes up to 26 volts and uh, outputs 5 or 6 volts you can adjust uh, its uh, voltage with a jumper so I'm going to select 5 volts like this so 5 volts are selected this is the output and this is the input here okay it also comes with a choke you can uh, con connect it uh, you can wrap the wires around it to eliminate uh, unwanted noise. It also has a small manual which shows us how to connect it. It's like this. Okay. So this should go here power on the receiver goes like this uh, ground it's uh, here plus it's in the middle and the first it's uh, not connected okay. I'm not going to solder any uh, leads now I'm going to do a bit of improvisation just for a quick test okay, I'm also going to take one uh, servo and an extension arm for it So, you have, so we will have some visual feedback and I'm going to plug in the servo in a random channel I'm going to choose uh, channel 6 goes like this now I'm going to connect the power supply to the battery which should supply power to the receiver and the servo I'm going to do something like this 
this is just for testing purpose nothing else and you can see we have power indicator here so I'm going to turn on the transmitter transmitter is connected as you can see the servo did some movement and as you can see I'm controlling it with uh, this knob and it's progressive okay, I'll, not, I'll uh, add another servo yet again I'm going to choose uh, another random channel okay. this was unplugged and I'm also going to add another module it's a speed controller for brushed motors this uh, will control the speed of a motor just to see how it works this also comes with a small manual which indicates how to connect it and its uh, specifications I'm gonna take a look this it's uh, also from hobby king it uh, can uh, work with uh, nickel batteries or uh, lithium batteries it's set for nickel batteries i'm going to select lithium batteries it also has brake function i'm going to select the brake function for the motor so here it has connecting uh, connection to the battery and uh, it also has uh, an internal uh, battery replacement module like this one i'm gonna leave this on and also use this or i can skip this I'm going to use a small brush motor and some alligator pips for doing the connection. So I did a little uh, circuit here. I got uh, two servos connected to channel 1 and channel 2. On uh, channel 5 we have the motor controller. So you can see its uh, output here. On its output I have also added a 3 watt power LED which, with uh, some resistance and it also is connected in parallel with this motor here. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, the power supply module as uh, this uh, motor controller also has uh, a built-in uh, power supply for the receiver a 5 volt power supply so I'm gonna check all the wires to get again to be sure they are properly connected okay I'm gonna put the servos straight up so I'm going to plug all of them to the battery Powered on, I can see how it pulses the LED. I'm gonna turn on the transmitter. Transmitter is on, and you can see and hear the motor, and you can see the LED how it reacts. And also we have servos here and here and you can combine of course the movement all together with the motor and the LED. So this is the basic principle of uh, connecting your uh, motors and servos to your uh, receiver it's very simple 
you should uh, always take in, uh, in account the power needed for the servos if you have something uh, with uh, a lot of uh, power requirements maybe it's a good idea to use this kind of module and supply power trace to the servo. Bye bye!